is the Bible timeless? The story behind the stories. Many of us would be surprised to find out how much of literature and film up to current times are based on a theme in the Bible. Let's look at a few of these classics to see the story behind the story. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne has dozens of allusions to the Bible. It was written in 1851 and set in Salem, Massachusetts. Hawthorne tells a classic tale of sin, guilt, and repentance, three major themes in the Bible. The plot revolves around an adulterous affair between Hester Prine and Reverend Arthur Dimsdale. Hester must wear a scarlet A for adultery on her clothing. Color is taken from Isaiah 118. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. No one yet knows of Reverend Dimsdale's guilt. Hester already had a daughter, Pearl, named after the Pearl of Great Price, talked about by Jesus in Matthew 13, 45 and 46. Finally, Hester and Reverend Dimsdale are expelled from the community the way that Adam and Eve were expelled from the Garden of Eden after their sin. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is a beloved book, play, and movie, especially at Christmas time. The main character, Ebenezer Scrooge, has a first name straight from 1 Samuel 7 and 12. In this verse, the prophet Samuel commemorates God's intervention when the Israelites are being attacked by the Philistines. They erect a stone called Ebenezer, meaning stone of help. The entire story of the Christmas Carol shows God's intervention in the affairs of humanity. The miser Ebenezer Scrooge has a radical transformation after three days with the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. The change in Ebenezer Scrooge is representative of Jesus' resurrection from the dead on the third day, an entirely new man of heaven. The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien doesn't have direct references to the Bible, God, or Jesus, but nevertheless is infused with biblical themes. The ring is symbolic of original sin, the first sin committed by Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. The East and West geography in the book represents areas ruled by evil creatures in the East and goodness found in the West. The little people, called the hobbits, encounter fantastical beings analogous to Satan and his demons. The wizard Gandalf commands the army in the West and is a messianic figure, giving his life to save Middle-earth from nefarious powers. When Gandalf comes back to life, as Jesus Christ did in the resurrection, he defeats the evil Sauron, just as Jesus defeated Satan. Ben-Hur by Lou Wallace. The movie Ben-Hur was based on the 1880 novel called Ben-Hur, A Tale of Christ. Its author was Lou Wallace, a major general of the Union forces in the American Civil War. It was released as a silent film in 1925, but then it was released two more times in 1959 and 2016. The 1959 film by Charleston Heston is what made Hollywood history. Set at the time of Jesus Christ, Judah Ben-Hur, played by Charleston Heston on the right, is a wealthy merchant in Judea, betrayed by Masala, a childhood friend turned Roman tribute. We see through the hardship Judah Ben-Hur faces that God is behind the scenes, working all things together for good, found in Romans 8 and 28. At the end, Judah Ben-Hur and his family are all healed and changed people. The movie, A Man for All Seasons, is based on Robert Bolt's stage play and ranked as one of the greatest British films of all times. Sir Thomas More, 
the 16th century Lord Chancellor of England did his job according to biblical principles for which King Henry VIII has him executed. Sir Thomas first refuses to accommodate the king's divorce so he could remarry. Then he refuses to sign an oath acknowledging King Henry as the head of the Church of England. Although the king desires to sideline what is right behavior as set forth in God's word, the Bible, God's servant, Sir Thomas More, will not be part of that sin and takes a stand for God and his will. And finally, the classic movie Chariots of Fire in 1981 tells the story of two runners representing Great Britain in the 1924 Olympics. Harold Abrams, a Jewish university student, must overcome anti-Semitism to win a gold medal. And Eric Little, a Christian, must decide whether to run his 100-meter dash that is scheduled for Sunday. The fourth commandment states that God's people are to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Eric decides to honor God's fourth commandment, which prompts an admiring fellow teammate to give Eric his place in the 400-meter race, which is set for Thursday instead. This teammate slips Eric a note just before running the race that says, He who honors me, I will honor found in 1 Samuel 2 and 30. The list of books, plays, and movies based on themes from the Bible keep reappearing because the Bible is timeless and people all over the world relate to and recognize these themes. In the next video, let's look at art inspired by the Bible.